minutes blind energy reading quickie thank you for joining allowing me in your experience participating this co-creating energy of oneness by listening live archives requesting the energy reading and healing this is June the universe hmm yes you know what it is indeed at this moment full moon energy <laughs> have you noticed that energy changing in your experience perhaps so this one actually for me was pretty intense <laughs> it's supposed to be a friendly one but whatever that sensitivity of myself is responding or reacting to this um, energy building up towards fullness for the last uh, three days actually i didn't even pay much attention until my psychic sister told me that hey sister the happy full moon was like excuse me this is too early perhaps and then it was like no no you know, set the intentions and then okay so then oh yeah it's coming probably she brought that awareness to alert it that hey you know use this energy instead of being used by this so that was a great reminder from my good friend chandra that uh, thank you chandra from there i was just so intense energy surrounding around me and you know one of these uh moments that you notice the chaos regardless of your intention but somehow that challenge it seems to be coming in front of you and then all of a sudden you've been surrounded by that just like standing on the beach and the wave is coming towards regardless of your action or intention but it's all of a sudden your feet are into the water and you know so it's just being part of the flow and when you notice being surrounded by that unexpected unfamiliar energy this is what i subconsciously choose always and i like to share today is that somewhat i allow my spirit to guide whatever my spirit is demanding if you uh, ask to um go sleep and take a nap and just uh, do it you know so just serving my spirit needs and me awareness is just focusing to be a good server of the needs and utilize personal power to support my spirit needs and this time i was so guided into what some spiritual movies <laughs> and i enjoyed it i enjoyed it the moon was developing into reaching into the fullness and in the night time i was just enjoying that movie you know how many i watched i can't even remember it but anyhow so hope you uh noticing it's not good or bad just to observe what's happening within and around you and here is a good point to update reconnect and join our co-creating energy of oneness and meditate meditate let us meditate this fullness of this sun in virgo moon in pisces the practical virgo and dreaming pisces so it's a combination of 
practical dreaming. You know, I feel this is so right. Right after Mercury went redirect and picking up the speed. And now here, that dream big, shooting for stars, practically, practically. It's like right brain, imagination, creativity, inspiration, and left logical delivery, logical delivery. So balance in here now and allow this moon energy to fully engage with being part of this Universe, we are universe, you are universe, we are part of the universe. So let us use this energy wisely for your intentional creation, for our intentional co creation together today. After weekly check in and conscious breathing exercise, the quickest meditation being current and Last portion of the show, as usual, I'd like to provide the intuitive energy reading for those who request it. You know what? I am um, noticing that the web page for request, receiving the request is uh, under the construction last week. And right now, I think it's already up the new page. So check it out. It's still under construction. However, you can uh, submit your life's curious matter as an uh, intuitive energy reading. Three minutes. Sometimes three minutes is just enough information to get some idea, snapshot of um, you are just wondering about curious matter, about your love life, life birth, the living general things if you're moving what would be a good choice you know um or a career path before the interviews company to choose the direction so just a idea to take a look the energetic view snapshot so that will give you a power to choose from something more than what currently you are having or maybe you can resonate to affirming your choice or you may find that totally non-resonance so that will allow you clarifying what you are going after so either way it will be fine i totally respect your value and you are the most knowledgeable person about you however at the end of the day it's always nice to have other choice, you know, and other choices, variety, so that you can confidently choose from whatever the available choices are. So uh, that's going to be the last portion of that show today. And uh, anyone can request the bright reading anonymously. So one of the group part of the update of uh, requesting form we are having here is before you need to provide the email to receive the confirmation but uh, no longer not anymore because um, we trust one another and um, you just become anonymously pick the symbol assign it and submit the form so no need to uh, give you a email or anything. And when you submit, you just get the information that your request has been sent. So then the next is to just go to the uh, YouTube page and subscribe that YouTube channel. So next week, following week or the the show is up and then you'll be notified it and you can check to listen your requested symbol is going to be delivered as an insight so that's the system works and um why i am doing this is i've been providing this intuitive insight over uh, 14 years for private sessions however 
I learned that this is one of the quickest way to integrate all of our energy as one energy. So when I'm delivering the um, energy insight, it's nice to have uh, co-creating energy of oneness together. It's easier to deliver. And then at the same time, all the listeners can join and send a good energy to you, requester, for your best possible energetic experience. So all of us in oneness and to send the energy and then that is returning back in the universal energy return system. So all of us can get benefit for doing it. And that's what I uh, provide my intuitive reading blindly as a um, community service. And uh, thank you for allowing me to read that. Your reading request is helping all of us to connect more as one to no ways to our individual participation. If you are listening, Archive, there is no past and future. It's all happening now. So here at this present moment, connecting with you is this is the time to connect in. And I am now here with the full moon energy. Maybe you are listening in an archive and maybe it's quite different in the flow in the linear time schedule. However, you are now connecting that energy that I am connecting this full moon resonating in. So part of getting this fullness and there is no accident. I'm a believer that there is no accident. And utilize together moment for your bettering. Hello, as to join your co-creation. Thank you. So let us start the weekly check-in to um, connect each part of ourselves right now here. Energy flows where uh, attention is given. Let my voice guide your attention from top of your head all the way down to the toe. Before doing so, this is very important to connect in the oneness. Before fully into there, Fully engaging with our own oneness, our mind, body, spirit, feeling, emotion, whatever, that each part of us as one aligned to intentional creation of your experience. So to do that, the quickest one is to notice that feeling where you are at this present moment and choose how do you want to feel at the end of today's show using being part of our energy. So use two different feeding state, intentionally choose and embody that feeding you like to experience during this together 30 minutes. And that intentional creation of your participation in the oneness is adding more power to send the energy towards one another. <laughs> is that clear? <laughs> okay, I hope so. <laughs> All right. By the way, it's so hot. My body is heated up or just the weather, both perhaps. So I'm having the ice green tea today. Sunny full moon. Um, yeah, get get to your favorite drinks if you have any handy and get relaxing. Notice your feeding. You are now with the mood and choose one word that describes the state of your feeding. Um, I am feeding actually um, 
<sighs> Actually, I'm feeling <laughs> anxiety. <laughs> Excuse me, anxiety, laughing somehow.、Uh, maybe I needed to disguise this anxiety and achieve from the beginning. Well, all of a sudden, I started to feel anxiety, whichever. Right now, I feel anxiety. How about you? So, important to allow the honest feeling to come up and choose one word. If you're excited, that's exciting. I was excited, and then here, and then anxiety. So maybe I'm very feeling unstable, unstable, bumpy, jumpy. How about you? So if you're feeling loving, if you're feeling kind, if you're feeling、uh, gratitude. Or grief, sad. Whatever. No judgment to decide good or bad. It's not good or bad. It's just a notice where you are. Okay? So, you got that? Now, what kind of feeling you like to experience? I like to I like to experience hopeful, hopeful, hopeful. How about you? Sometimes I feel hopeful is such a weak word, but、um, It's obviously that I am experiencing very emotional <laughs> day so far here today, being part of this fullness, practical dreaming. So, me as an Akansa, it's really emotionally influential about this moon energy and sensitively. So, I feel very sensitive about that feeling today. So, I like to choose hopeful, hopeful to be more stable so that I can、um, add all my energy to guide in a way that I like to wrap up the day. You pick up yours? Okay. So, Now, the quick exercise to being current to allow my voice to guide your attention quickly, all part of your each part of your body emotional, mind, body, physical body as one here now at this present moment. So, bring your attention to the top of your head. Notice the air above your head, temperature, quality, and bring that down to your head, what you're thinking, and what you're seeing in your physical eye, your mind eye. What you're hearing by your ear, or what you're hearing telepathically, energetically, who is talking or connecting. Just notice, observe whose face popping up, and the smell, a nose. Intuitive knows what you're smelling, your taste, the temperature of your mouth and lips and chin, and、uh, muscle of your jaw. Is that relaxed or tight? Just notice. And the neck, the muscle. And extend towards both s i d e of your shoulders, arms, elbow, all the way down to the hand, moving your hand, 
palms, skin, fingers, temperature, nail tips. Just notice the movement of your hand and bring your awareness up back here to the upper arms on the armpit and to the center of your chest place your hand over the chest and to the inside the rib cage notice the heartbeat heart pumping blood both lungs and all the way down to the stomach through the digestive system and belly and bring that up to back of your neck and notice the heaviness weight of your head brain gravity and the spine following the disc one by one slowly toward back of your shoulder back of your lungs kidneys all the way down to the lower back pelvic area tailbone and the bottom hips the connection of the bottom seat Feel the gravity of the first chakra and connection to the legs and all the way down towards kneecap. Temperature of your legs, muscles, skin and notice what is getting your attention which part of your body inside or the skin just follow your attention and towards the ankle heels all the way down to the toes connecting to the floor Extended it into the ground, the center of the earth now. So, let us do the conscious breathing exercise, the quickest meditation to being current. In taking the air from the nose slowly into your lungs and trunk in your body as if you have an, a balloon inside of your uh, stomach and make it biggest as much as you can and hold it and release slowly along with no longer serving whatever memories people event anything that belongs to your past letting that go okay we do this three times with eyes open wide away ready counting three one now go two three hold it Hold it. Hold it. The second time, let us intake the, all the energy that resonated to that feeding word you chose for today's gathering. Do you remember your feeding you like to experience? Mine is hopeful. 
So in taking all the energy resonating to the feeling you like to experience now, counting three, one, from the nose, go. Two. Three. Hold it. The last one with the silence. Ready? Let's do that. Go. Thank you for taking the time for yourself. Conscious breathing exercise. Being current here now. This is June Universe. Those of you who might just join right now and just listening, hearing the silence. We've been doing a breathing exercise. So if you're interested, please check us on archive and join this breathing exercise at www.thatfuturefocused.com. And then there is an archive subscription link there on YouTube. So go there. And to uh, listen, the archive is will be available shortly after that live. So those of you who like this exercise joining every week, actually, it really helps me to come here and connect with you and this energy of oneness. And it's, it really helps to get grounding and connecting energizing energizing wherever i am whatever i i am experiencing it feels like familiar state and i'm so grateful for that i have uh all of you joining here and hope you also using our energy in your experience in a supportive way I learned that some people just uh, um, come here knowing that we are here. So when we are going to a uh, challenging period, like uh, in a uh, heartbreaking period or loss of uh, someone important, the grief and challenging period. And it's nice to know that when you come here or listen in archive, you can do that too. But we are ongoing connecting here as in a community of energy. So thank you for your participation. And please tell your friend that if uh, um, this is no obligation, it's like an energy community. So um, anyone can join and request a healing too. Going to the web page and... I am not advertising or, you know, promoting or anything. I just want to put ourselves, like, organically. So if you like it, just uh, invite your friend and then show your presence as like the episode of uh, each week at um, YouTube. I think YouTube would be a helpful. So I, I, we are like everywhere, and then where would be a good place to leave a comment? So if you are a speaker listener, thank you for leaving a comment. I know that sometimes you guys leave that message there, and I'm sorry that I'm unable to respond in the live comment. So, but I totally appreciate your uh, showing presence as like leaving a comment and. 
please continue and show your presence to us and thank you for our uh, expansion in advance. So today's focus I'd like to give is the full moon energy to meditate. Practical dreaming. I like this energy, practical dreaming. You know, the flow I am um, noticing, channeling through the universe through me is that unexpected, unexpected um, people information popping up. It's not good or not bad. It's just whoa at this timing i thought that it's right after mark three went redirect which was about a week ago or so but now to do with this uh, moon energy and if you can if you're more interested in digging in then go check the astro astrologist um uh, information so they will tell you about more activity in other planets too. Uh, currently, many active um, planets are around Earth right now. And the yesterday, or last night, was the big, fat full moon. It was beautiful. It just beautiful, like breathtaking. And then I felt that, oh, thank you, summer. And welcome autumn. You know, that's the energetic sense that I I was mesmerized by that light, bright, powerful energy of the moon last night. And boom, unexpected um uh, people from the past reconnecting and encouraging to cleansing that past and i take it as like reaching into the maturity so got to do with it finally and um another is the unexpected but expected so being heard as a telepathy and had respond in a way that um unusual way so the energy is shuffling to bring that something you need to let go into awareness that's one way to i can uh interpret it and then also another flow is that to what you would like to experience dreaming so dream big as the size of the moon you know the shoot for the moon <laughs> and knowing that everything what we experience once at the wish list you know so at some point linear time schedule sometimes we chose a different path and because we are also changing and once we want it to experience it's no longer the case sometimes so these adjustments need to be happening um and replacing it into something new and boy be open to the synchronicity and how we can increase the synchronicity in the and its quality is uh, become more clear about what you are wishing with all of your senses. You see it, visualize it, visualization board is good too. And smell it, taste it, dance it, feel it, play it, sing it, you know, paint it. Like as if already happened, as if already happened so then that clear feeling that you're already experiencing that resonance the universe is feeding universe is resonant it's just like a magnet and send it in send it to towards the the resonance which we are intentionally creating embodying so that's the higher chance to notice, whoa, this is what 
I wanted to get to know. Whoa, this is what I've been looking for. Whoa, this is sounds exciting. You know, so and then many resonating opportunity information is started to show as a shooting star, as a shooting star. So your job is to become aware once it comes, and then take action to take a look. Check it out. So be ready when it comes. So it's wait a second and thinking about it, analyzing, overthinking, and then maybe it's the flow is misaligning when we are too much thinking with the above neck. So we already think about it and then embody and get prepared any time when it comes. Boom! This is it. We get. What we are, not what we want. So once we found, become clear about what you want, and become that you already having what you wanted to have. This is Journey Universe at Ninja Intuitive Three Minutes Blind Energy Reading Quickies. So here is the reading using our three minutes. During this three minutes intuitive reading, I like you to embody the feeling you chose for today. Do you remember the feeling your like to experience today? Mine is hopeful. Hopeful. I noticed that part of my brain is、um, sleeping today. <laughs> it's a right part of the. Portion of the brain is sleeping. That's strange feeling. So, but anyway,、um, and embody the feeling when you are listening the intuitive insight, and then send a good thought to the energy requester, as if、uh, they are experiencing a perfect way. And then when you send a good thought, and then that energy is coming back to you, helping your chosen feeding to embody in this universal energy return system.、And、that's the beauty of the oneness. So, first reading request from Life Path. Let me set the timer for three minutes. Is、um, pop 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 pop. Kitty, life path. Kitty. I get the sense that this is so being loved by the people's、uh, trend at the moment.、Um, this particular life path、uh, topic, and it's very natural and popular, and it's all. Most accomplished, like reaching into the fullness as on the full moon, and I have a sense that it's so open and communicative, and a sense of、uh, feminine in、uh, outdoor field, enjoyable. Fashionable form.、Um, I got the sense that something to something commercialized、um, metaphor of this is going to be loved as well, and it's a very profitable business. Possibility if you would like to plug into that area,、um, I got the sense that some it's it's a enjoyment for people who within to enhance the life quality and such a natural growth to. For you to involve in that people, and、uh, you deserve that from what you are creating. 
I get the sense that your creativity with the partnership is flowing from the heart. It's the natural connection bond to what you want to do through this particular topic. Um, October would be a changing phase of the focus and allow your experience expand in this season for the next stage. Good luck. I'm send sending lots of love and healing to your creation. Thanks for your request. This is Kitty, the life path. Another one is pineapple. Pineapple. Okay. I get the sense that creativity in a rainbow of colors. Especially second chakra creativity give birth and a strong sense that it's time to give birth of what you've been uh, creating. And it can be very profitable in many levels. I'm getting the sense that the one that you are choosing to enhance the self esteem. It's something to do with the artwork, um, visual creation. I'm getting the sense that it feels like no activity at this point as a long vacation time or like a pause on this particular issue. That doesn't mean that I was uh, over. It's it's in the hibernation period or something. It's uh, underneath of it. The roots were growing without your um, attention so much. But now it is deserving your attention if you like to move forward with this. And there is a positive... Uh, expansion in sometimes next year springtime um, so get prepared for that to bring into a practical uh, delivery to share what you were creating and being absent from it using this winter time and then just as a seed to expect to blossom in sometimes in the next spring season. Good luck. This is the pineapple category of life bath. Another one. I want to give a short one. Okay. Uh, cloud. The short one is cloud. I'm getting the sense that something formal about this particular um, topic and you will enjoy when you choose to dedicate in a new way aligned to the formal energy. And this is something quite different from what you expect based on your knowledge from the past experience, but be open to the newness and allow yourself to observe how you're going to take this newness, participate in this possibility that now you are with. Good luck. I have a positive energy sending lots of love and success to your creation. This is cloud category of life path. How's your embodiment of your feeling? Let us take a long deep breath, counting three now. Hope you are aligned to the chosen feeling. I am feeling hopeful. Thank you. This is June Universe. I see you next time. Until then, all my love.
and healing to your heart.